Hebrew has always been a fascination to me. I haven't thoroughly learned it by any means. Um, I love the sound of it. I feel as though there's something, um, well, I, I know enough of it or about it to, to know that there's something to me very um, beautiful about the way that, that words are formed in Hebrew and these three-letter roots that, that kind of connect um, nouns and verbs in different ways. There's just something about the, the logic or the symmetry of it, I don't know what even the right word is, that, um, that just seems very, very beautiful and powerful. So that's, that's one. Um, Yiddish was a language that I heard some as a child, and I really wanted to understand it. Um, and when I was in school, I guess in seventh grade was our first chance to learn a foreign language. And I went to this quirky um, junior high where the offerings, the choices were Latin, German, or Spanish. And I chose German for a number of reasons, but one of them was that I figured I'd be able to understand Yiddish, which has largely been true. So I can understand a lot of Yiddish just based on that. It's hard for me to speak it because what comes out is German, but, um, but I can understand quite a bit. Yiddish also feels like my language in a way that Hebrew does, but in a different way. You know, it's like I do feel as though both of those are are mine, and in some way, um, I feel kind of cheated that I didn't get to really learn them. Um, I also recognize that even as I've had opportunities to, I haven't fully committed. You know, I haven't fully taken advantage of them, so I know a little bit of each. But what I did study a lot in high school and college, I took French and German throughout. Well, started French as soon as I could. Um, and, uh, and became, you know, nearly fluent, or, you know, pretty strongly functional anyway in both languages. I was a comparative lit major, and I read French and German literature in the originals, and spent a semester in France and then traveled some in other parts of Europe. I love languages, I really do, and I'm fascinated by the way that um, that different languages express things differently and shape your thought differently and your experience and all of that.